everybody. Hey, it's Angie. Hope everyone's doing great. Today I'm just going to be doing a simple Mikunagane and I'm thinking I'm going to use a silk screen on it after the fact and just cut out some pendants. But anyway, I thought I'd show you what I was doing. Um, these are all honestly just, not that I would lie, but anyway, this translucent, Primo translucent that I roll out on my number, oh my goodness, uh, number five and seven being my thickest. Um, this is gold, but these are all mixed. They're not a pure color. I added some more gold to this one, but as you can see, it's not exactly that color. And this gold is antique gold. This here is purple. Uh, it's not pure purple. It has a little bit of um, peacock pearl in it, I do believe, because I used it to make my, it's just the scraps that I used from this, from this cane that I did. I don't know, I probably didn't even do a tutorial on this. I tend to do these things, you know, I come down here and making things and and this is all part of me going to make um i do like butterflies i'm doing this i haven't finished it obviously because it's not put together i'm just trying to think of what it's called it's something that i don't i don't like them wind chime it looks like a wind chime and i will be putting these together but i need to make some more beads and stuff for it and i just haven't decided if i'm going to do and i probably will do solid purple and solid peacock peacock pearl for this not that this is the tutorial today but i just just trying to explain where these colors are actually coming from anyway so let's just slice this up and we'll start layering and i'm going to start with doesn't even matter you can start with whatever color you want um i'm going to cut it in threes i'm not being perfect with it or anything i'm just chopping just to me when you're doing these kind of a thing you just do what you want I'll do pearl. Uh, I'll do the gold pearl. <laughs> I don't have any pearl here. Gold. I'm gonna do translucent purple. Maybe I'll stick some more translucent here. Some more gold. Just gotta make sure I have enough. Doesn't matter even if I don't. Gold. You know, I'm putting translucent in between each and every one. Purple. Translucent. Gold. I right know. That's all right. We'll just put purple on. That's okay. So you can see what we've got going on here. Translucent in between all but this one. And that's why we're going to be rolling it out. So we'll roll it. Flip it. Roll it. Flip it. I'll roll it this way. Keep rolling. I want to get it quite thin. You know, I thought this was going to be small too, but I don't think it's going to be small, so I hope it turns out good. Well, I can always make beads and stuff too, so that's okay. I like making my beads. Sorry about the clanging. Just clanging and clanging, aren't I? All right, I'm just going to cut it in half. Yeah. I need to find out it's arthritis in my thumb here, so that's why it pains me so much. So if you see me doing some weird things, that's why I'm kind of babying that part of my hand. It must be going to rain or something because, boy, she's been giving me a fit today. It's amazing how weather plays on these things. I'm just going to squeeze this in some. I'm going to do just one more, I think. And then I'm going to find some kind of a cutter to make, to make some marks in this. And I might just use one of my tools, I think. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do it one more time. We're still quite thick. I'll roll it out one more. One more time. So 
you see them? Yeah, they're still quite thick. That's better. I find when you can just start seeing through it. So the other color, it's usually a good sign. Gotcha, you got it. Oops. <laughs> Slap it across my desk. Yeah. Yeah, we got a real dope thing this time. All right. I'm just going to squeeze it up some. Get some of my funky little tools here. I like this one. Yeah, I think I'll just use this one. That kind of an end. And this kind of an end. I'm just going to shove it. Oops! Yeah, that's better because it was too long. I was afraid it was going to hit my camera. Let me move over here so you can see me better. I shouldn't have this thing on me because it's this that's clinging on my glass. So yeah, I'm just going to puncture it. Back together. Take that end off and I'm going to use this end. Put some more in there. I like torturing my um, clay. Whoops. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to squish it all back together. Carefully. <laughs> no, I don't do anything carefully when it comes to clay either. Oh, oh. That's not in my vocabulary. I'm getting my smaller roller, my shorter one. And it it better when I'm doing smaller things. helps well I've got my acrylic blocks I could be using too but it helps push um all those holes back together you can even feel it when you're holding it and you push on this push it down you can feel it all coming back together again and speaking of those <clears throat> excuse me I do have a bunch I need two of these is what I need that would be a perfect size but anyway one's not going to work. I have a bunch of these things, but I don't know. I never seem to have the ones that I want. That's okay. I would order them from Tiny Pandora, but the shipping that is so expensive. I just can't really afford it. What I should do is just save up some cash and Maybe put in a big order and get all kinds of stuff. And maybe it'll be easier that way. I don't know. Anyway. I'll put it on my wish list. All right. I think this is probably pretty good. See how it comes out. And you notice I only have like... Two colors and translucent. I'm not big into using a bunch of different colors. I'm not saying it's not pretty. They are. I see other people do them, do them and I think they're gorgeous, but um, I, I don't know. I'm not even trying to figure it out. Get my bigger blade. Make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to stand it up, I think, and just slice down because I just have some nice sized pieces. Oh, it's pretty cool. Another one. I think they came out quite nice. See? It pays to be aggressive with this stuff. This one's quite thick, but my hand's asleep again. Yay! 
Uh, I need to roll out some clay, I guess. Or uh, maybe I don't have to roll out any clay. Maybe I'll just stick them together and definitely don't want a mirror effect by no means. Maybe these two will fit down like this. I can always make them, oh, my, my, um, my big four dollar matte thing here. It's not matte, it's glass, but you know what I mean, I think. I think you know what I mean. Hmm. Let's trim that end off. Am my blade upside down? Nope. Squish this out a little bit. Stick it up in here just so I can get a nice rectangle. <clears throat> and I'll roll it. And I do have some, I call them tongue depressors. I don't know. I'll move my camera. I'm sorry. When am I going? Huh? Not today, apparently. And I glued three together, which is, yeah, not quite right. So then I have some individual ones, too. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I'll glue two together. Oh, yeah, this is going to work. I'm going to peel it off first, though, and move a little bit. Clay stuck to my finger. I think I want to put it this way. It would help if I actually did all of that. I think what a great way to use up your scrap clay. I mean, there's so many things you can do to use up your scrap clay, but I thought this was a pretty cool way too. I'm sorry. I'm having an awful time. <laughs> I can't use my thumb and I'm using, trying to do this one-handed. It uh, doesn't work out so well. I'm gonna go down to one. I'm just gonna definitely stretch it out. I think it was all quite level. It's actually a good size veneer, isn't it? <sighs> See, having a hard time. Oh man, I'm really having a hard time here tonight. There we go. I apologize. I really do. There. What color do I want to use? Do I want to use black or do I want to use white? It says shiny side down, but I yet to figure out what is supposed to be shiny, but I'm thinking it's this side. Flatten that out pretty good. I'm gonna get some white. Let me go get my white panel. I got some up here. What is this? I don't even think I've opened it yet, but here it is. What is this one? Burn something or apple barrel? <laughs> okay. And I'm just using my little cricket scraper. You could use um, an old credit card or whatever. I'm thinking that paint's still stuck on there from the other day, perhaps. Anyway, let's see if I shook this good enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll just put 
some dots up here. Dots. I don't have enough of that more. Okay. Guess I had enough. Wipe off the excess. Preferably wipe it off and not put it on my hands. But I'm a little bit of a sloppy one. There. Fill this up and put it in my water. I didn't get it out very good, did I? I'll put that in my water. Hmm. Never hear the word fail. You know what I'm going to do? Since it did that, and I don't even know why it did that. Please enlighten me if anyone knows. I have my silk screens all over the place. Oh, I need to put them <clears throat> over here. Oops. I like this butterfly one too, but the problem is it's not all over the place. Yeah, I got these ones here from Craylong. I'm not using that one. I do like this one though. And again, I forget which way goes down. Maybe I had that one on the wrong way, I don't know. Oh. Let me see. This one's pretty cool too. I like this one. Do this one. Paint's dry. Let me see. We'll put it on like this. Hopefully, I'm putting it on the right way. I have a good memory, you know, but it's very short. It's probably because I don't use my sub screens enough to remember which way they go. Try black this time. I'll get me some black paint. Although that's the first time I use this. Maybe I didn't shake it enough. <clears throat> so we'll do black this time. With our bugs. Don't <clears throat> oh, get me in a mess here. And this one's almost empty. There. Got it on my finger. <coughs> Excuse me again. So let's try this one. Okay, let's peel this off. See, this one came out fine, didn't it? Mm. Must have been the paint, I'm thinking. I probably didn't shake it up enough. I need another baby wipe. <clears throat> and a non squeaky chair. black fingernails. That up. My goodness, that is really sticking to this table here. Can't seem to get it up. Yeah, I'm having a real rough time here. Maybe I shouldn't have been doing a tutorial. Things don't get better, I'm gonna just delete it. 
Uh, look, I even ripped it, but I can work around that. That part is dry. The ends aren't. I just need some cutters now, and I think I put them all back. So, let's see what we have for cutters. <clears throat> I'm just crashing into stuff. I'm going to use these, and these I got from oh, Joy Creation long, long time ago. And we will use this one. I might make a couple little earrings, maybe. Let's just see. I don't even know if I like this. <laughs> I'm looking at it, it's like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm going to get rid of it. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, didn't like it, took the paint off, and we're going to do it this way. I like it better without the silk screen. I like the silk screens with um, either just plain clay, I guess, or a Skinner blend. That looks nice because I've done those before. As a matter of fact, I did these, and it's just a Skinner blend. I did see this on uh, Clay Boutique, but I have done them before in the past, like a long time ago, kind of forgot about doing it, but it's a really great way of doing your bags if you don't want to do a texture stamp, but yeah, Clay Boutique does this too on hers. She does, she does fabulous work, actually. Very nice work. You should check her out on YouTube, Clay Boutique. And so does Catherine Holstead, Holstead, is it? I think so. She does great work too. But anyway, so this is what I'm doing, and I do have this big hunk of hunk of um, plastic here that I was using for something else, but now I've been using it for this, and it works out really good. So I'm just going to, I like this size. I'm going to pick a spot that I want. I think I like it right there. I have to use, sorry about my arm stretching, I have to use my acrylic block because it's the only way I can cut these things. All right, <clears throat> press down <clears throat> and I won't get it all the way through so I'll lift that up and I'll finish it. thumbs tonight. Anyway, there's that one. I don't like it because I got all those weird marks in there. I like to do some earrings and I'm wondering, are these too small? Not everybody likes big earrings, you know? What do you think? It's either that or these. Or this one, I should say, not these. And that fits in there really nice if you wanted to make a border, eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think so. I'll go with the little ones, or both, or whatever. Where shall I do this one? I think this is going to be a good spot right there, because it will match. I don't know if I can push down like, no, I can't. There. That's cute. And where should we do another one? Hmm. Yeah, that looks good too. That one actually went in pretty good. I might even make some beads. Not with all this, I'll make another pendant. Another pendant. I have got these. Arrowheads from Samantha. Let's pick one of these. I keep 
keep thinking I'm going to have to get myself a 3D printer because, gee, I use a lot of cutters. I like different cutters. I like to use different ones. I might even be able to get two. Maybe. Yes, this one's smaller. You know what they say, waste not, want not. Look at that. I think I'm just going to press, press. I'm going to press these straight down. I do like this area here. And then I'm going to my little tools. And I want some beads. Whoops. Shall I go with? I'm gonna go with that one. Put those back in here. And I'm gonna just see how many of these I can cut out. It's weird when you're so used to using the, uh, the plastic, saran, whatever you want to call it. And when you don't use it, really feels different. It was in a lot easier, that's for sure. I guess I'm making a lot of beads, aren't I? Can't go wrong with beads. All right, that's good enough for now, I guess. I'll lift this up. I'll make my beads. I'll bake them in the oven. Yep, I hit my camera again. And we'll see what these things look like when they come out of the oven. That's going to be interesting, I think. All right. See you in a few. Well, you'll see me in a flash. But I will be a little bit, like, about an hour. See you in a bit. Hey, guys. I'm finally back. I'm done with these. So all I did was put some UV resin on them. And for the back, I did them with the gold glitter. And I just put a jump ring in here and the resin's holding it on. Um, and then I just put this simple little lace necklace thing kind of on it. And I did the same with these earrings on the back and the resin's holding the uh, jump ring on. And just put hair wires on it. Something very simple. And these ones, I, this is just a cord I just put on. I'm not, I just, I just grabbed it and stuck it on here just so there'd be something on it. And on the back of this, I just, all I did was resin it. That's it for that one. And this one, I just did the jump ring and resin on the back, resin on the front. And why I did the resin on the back and the front is because these ones actually look nice on the back, whereas this one didn't. Because I had some of the um, the scrap or the outer edge of the uh, clay on there. So that's why I did the, um, the glitter. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and gave you some inspiration. And I'll talk to see you guys all later. Well, I won't see you, but you know what I mean. Later, guys. Bye.